Next, we have the other kind of charcoal that is the sugar charcoal. We can obtain by the destructive distillation of cane sugar. We know that cane sugar has sucrose, heat 12 h 22 o 11 So when we heat it, we get sugar charcoal and along with that we get water. And where it is used? A reducing agent, decolorized colored solution and used in making artificial diamonds. This is all about the sugar charcoal you should know. Next is the bone charcoal. It is obtained when you uh, carry up, when you heat in absence of air, uh, the bones, the bone oil and the organic compound like pyridine. So again, you need to carry out the destructive distillation, the same thing heating like we heated coal in absence of air, the same apparatus is used here. So, but instead of coal, we need to use bones, bone oil and organic compound like pyridine. So, we get a bone charcoal. So, bone charcoal that is obtained that mainly consists of calcium phosphate. So if we need to, uh, obviously we need to separate the carbon content. So how? We'll uh, just uh, the, char the, the charcoal, the residue which is obtained uh, when you uh, this thing heat the bones, that uh, residue is uh, filtered with HCl. It dissolves the calcium uh, phosphate and giving uh, rise to a deep black color carbon that is called as the bone charcoal. And where it is used? Again, used in decolorizing the cane sugar. It is used in making the phosphorus compounds also. And uh, the deep black color, deep black carbon form which you get is also called as ivory black. Right. And it is being used for artistic painting. This uh, because it is uh, very deep, uh, deep black in color. So it is used in the uh, artistic painting and all. So this is all about the sugar and the bone charcoal. I think you got it. That wood charcoal we obtain by destructive distillation of wood. Sugar charcoal we obtain by destructive distillation of cane sugar. And bone charcoal we obtain by the destructive distillation of bone oil, uh, bones and the uh, organic compound like pyridine. So this is all about uh, the charcoal. That is the second uh, amorphous form of the uh, carbon. So I think you got it that you know about the coal also now, you know about the charcoal also. So there are two more forms which we are going to study that is the gas carbon and the lamp suit. So this is all of the second form and we are starting with the third amorphous form of the carbon.